Water, or H2O, is essential for human existence. And it ought to go without saying that without clean, unpolluted water, humanity is imperiled. Yet in the 1930s, a cabal of elites, including titans of the aluminium industry and nascent nuclear industry, decided to rid themselves of the problem of disposing with the toxic substance of fluoride by lobbying for its addition to civilian drinking water. Edward Bernays, the founding father of modern propaganda, was hired to sell water fluoridation to the American people, as was Dr. Harold Hodge, who was the chief toxicologist for the Manhattan Project. Well, put it very simply, fluoride <coughs> is safe. Well, there's been lots of studies, hundreds of studies, uh, in the last 20 years, 30 years, that have shown that, well, actually, it's not safe. Last year, Calgary City Council, after coming under pressure from citizen anti-fluoride activists, voted to stop imposing the potentially harmful substance on the people of Calgary. Yet citizens in many cities throughout North America are still being forcefully medicated by unethical politicians who appear to be more influenced by vested interests than by common sense. Cities like here, Lethbridge, Alberta, where water is still fluoridated, much to the displeasure of many of its residents. You go to the coffee shop downtown, there's going to be fluoride in your water. You buy soup from a restaurant in town that they use tap water to make, there's going to be fluoride in your soup. You buy anything, it's going to have fluoride in it if the town's water supply is fluorinated. Forced. It's a forced medication. You, you, you would have thought that we learned something from what happened in, uh, as a result of the Nuremberg trials. I mean, I think the Nuremberg Code basically says you can't, you, you can't force people to take a medication. I don't really have a say in water fluoridation, and my water is fluorinated. And it, it's hard to believe that I am being medicated, and I would prefer not to be. It's a, I think it's a human right to be able to decide what goes in our bodies, what we, what we eat, what we drink. With at least 18 peer-reviewed studies demonstrating that elevated levels of fluoride exposure leads to IQ deficits in children, along with many other potential afflictions, one cannot help wondering whether those in power know that they benefit from having a dumbed-down citizenry and thus continue to pump fluoride into the public's water to foster acquiescence to their hegemony. For Press TV, Joshua Blakeney, Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, April 11th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com and DDargo 2012 and 2013 on YouTube. Okay, so I just got my water quality report um, from my local town today. And uh, I always tend to check these water quality reports. And the last three places I've lived in the past, what, four years or whatnot, six years, I've checked them because um, I've been aware of fluoride. Not all the time, but uh, it's interesting because the one that I found that came in the mail today – here you'll sh I tried taking a picture of it, but it just would not come in clear, so I took a video, and here it is. There's the fluoride. There's the levels, 1.2. And then look at what it says. Erosion of natural deposits, water additive, which promotes strong teeth. Okay, then I saw this. Discharge from fertilizer and aluminum factories. It actually says it. It doesn't say that the water... Uh, the, the fluoride that's added for uh, promoting strong teeth is actually from the discharge from fertilizer and aluminum uh, factories, but it pretty much tells you that. Uh, it's just, it's got off. I mean, right up here, they even misspell erosion, so. But yeah, it's pretty crazy, the fluoride conspiracy. You can go in there and check it out, but fluoridation is the greatest case of scientific fraud of this century. Robert Carlton, Ph.D., former EPA scientist, 1992, and tell a lie loud enough and loud enough and people will believe it, says Adolf Hitler. And there is actually ties to this uh, with IG Farb and the German company that started basically back in the 20s. But you skip down. And it talks about Alcoa, the dental caries prevention myth associated with fluoride originated in the United States in 1939 when a scientist named Gerald Cox, employed by Alcoa, the Aluminum Company of America, the largest producer of toxic fluoride waste, and at the time being threatened by fluoride damage claims, uh, fluoridated 
Some rats, lab rats, concluded that fluoride reduced cavities and claimed that it should be added to the nation's water supply. It says in 1947, Oscar Ewing, a longtime Alcoa lawyer, was appointed head of the Federal Security Agency, a position that placed him in charge of public health services. And over the next three years, uh, 87 new American cities began fluoridating their water, including the control city in a water fluoridation study in Michigan, thus eliminating most scientifically objective tests of safety and benefit before it was ever completed. And that name Ewing, there's actually a street back in my hometown in Southside Chicago that's called Ewing Street. I wonder if it was actually named after him for bringing uh, fluoride to the water supply. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, even where I live, where it's basically Amish, they have the water fluoridated. I couldn't believe it. It's the first thing I looked at when I moved here was they actually fluoridated the water. I just shook my head in disbelief. So Wall Street rises after five losing days. Alcoa soars, so encouraging start to earnings season. And uh, basically went on there and said that the uh, company that supplies your uh, fluoride to your water supply, their stock went up. Africa and Asia to lead urban population growth in the next 40 years, says UN report. This unprecedented increase in urban population will provide new opportunities to improve re-education and indoctrination and social public services such as Planned Parenthood in Africa and Asia as more concentrated populations become easier, easier to reach, i.e. control. What we are seeing is the very rapid growth of, oh, the mega cities, the Babylons. This is exactly what is, uh, what is planned is to get everybody smashed up into these death cities where basically there won't be enough services, there won't be enough food or housing or jobs, and that's why they have um, plans to carry out eugenics. That's why they put uh, toxic waste in your water. That's why they try to force vaccinate people at gunpoint in Africa. That's why uh, the basically uh, sterile rates are at a record high, and that's not a big phenomenon that's you know ever raised or anything, right? Uh, because they want people to go to them, to the eugenicists, uh, to be able to procreate. So you have to go to them, and then they'll say, oh, well, you don't have the right genes. Cost of aging rising faster than expected, says IMF. This is all building up to the Rio uh, uh, Climate Change Summit and that. Cost of aging rising faster than expected. So people worldwide are living three times longer than expected on average, even though one, thir one out of three or four or six people have cancer now and diabetes and, and everything else, right? But hey, we're living longer and we're living uh, more prosperous and pushing up the cost of aging by 50%. And governments and pension funds are ill-prepared. You know, see, that's why you don't have your pension. It's not because bankers robbed it from you. No, it's because you're just living longer. So... So yeah, basically it goes on and says there's going to be more elderly people and, you know, you know, so they have this plan too. There's a plan for this, to kill you. So you got to kill off the elderly too and that's why they're um, pushing for this euthanasia law. And people always write in the comment boards, actually, Darko, I'm kind of for euthanasia. Well, I am too. You want to put a bull through your head and kill yourself? Go ahead. I don't think there should be any laws at all. But the problem is, is when you start uh, playing little games about, oh, well, I like the police, or I don't like the police, but we got to have them, right, because you don't want anarchy. Well, no, you can't have both. Either you're common law, you protect yourself and your property, you know, uh, or you don't have cops, or you have cops, and you have to deal with that, you know. So it's like with youth, it's like the death penalty. You know, I'm against the death penalty because it's being carried out by a state, by the state, so... But, uh, you know, if someone yeah, if someone were to steal your property or kill some of your family members, you should be able to go over there and just kill them. I mean, that's that's just common law. So, I mean, as far as euthanasia, if someone wants to kill themselves, uh, abort their babies, they should be able to do that. But if you're going to have laws to legislate it that you can and cannot do it, that you can and cannot euthanize somebody, then you're playing with fire there because then all of a sudden you're going to be, oh, you know, this person has deemed a... Uh, uh, basically genetically inferior or um, uh, a deviant, and we're going to have to put you down and euthanize you. So BPA dest uh, destroys sperm, results from a five-year trial on effects of bisphenol A in human males, has revealed that popular plastics chemical uh, destroys sperm. One of the few BPA studies involving humans tr uh, says the trial sheds more light on the obvious harm BPA causes on male reproduction and the need to immediately remove the chemical from all of its products. 
And this is just like fluoride. It's been around for decades, and they know that what it's doing. It's uh, turning uh, boys more into girls, feminizing them. And that's, of course, when you're trying to take over the entire planet, you want to try to get rid of the male who's going to try to protect their family and protect the race, I guess you could say, our traditional way of living. But if you don't have to agree with me on that, but it's just my own personal opinion. Um, but it is feminizing men, uh, boys and that. And then also girls are also hitting puberty at, what, six years old now, ten years old. So there's a reason for that, too, so that when they do when they do try to have children, they actually can't uh, because their hips are so thin and they're not even developed yet. So then they're going to have to have C-sections. Again, you have to go to the experts. You have to go to the specialist to have a, uh, to have a baby. But that's, of course, if your sperm is still good. So... So dementia cases to double by 2030 says who, why? Well, they're supposed to. You're not supposed to remember how much you're getting screwed up the rear. So number of people with dementia is expected to almost double as the spraying of aluminum uh, aerosols, oxides, and different types of metal particles in the sky globally uh, spray all over you and get into your bloodstream. So you like that? It says here it's trendy to have cancer, Barbie to roll out a cancer doll with a bald head and chemo side effects. So... That's good. It's, uh, that's what the whole pink ribbon is all about, making cancer sexy and cool. And you can promote it, or you can promote it by donating. You can help the cause of uh, basically carrying out this eugenics operation of known as cancer on women and breast cancer by donating to them. That it doesn't actually help cure cancer. It just goes into making it more intense, more, more covert. It says here, drug babies before vaccinating them, says doctors. Recent study published in the journal Pediatrics suggests that giving eight-week-year-old babies several doses of ASA, basically Tylenol, before and after the barrage of recommended childhood vaccines they typically receive will help them to sleep better and improve vaccine efficacy. Moving on, we have Fukushima radiation found in California kelp. So it says here, kelp off California was contaminated with short-lived radioisotopes a month after the Fukushima nuclear plant accident. So... And a new study showing that it's in the kelp. So potassium iodide tablets says here, April 9th, 2012, that the government has put in an order for what? For potassium iodine tablets. That's for radiation. It says here, resistant malaria strains increasing in Southeast Asia. They've worn resistant strains of the malaria parasites. So the frontline treatments are increasing in some parts of South Asia and African regions. Oh, those happen to be what? Oh, the places that uh, are going to increase in their populations. Inside the mosquito factory, can malaria be stopped by British-bred genetically modified mosquitoes? Well, we know one thing that already has been deployed, which is what? GM mosquitoes deployed to control Asia's Danaig fever. So they already have those guys out there. Then we have Paul Ehrlich, Hanson, Lovelock. We must build an entirely new kind of global society. The United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, has recently published a collection of key messages written by the usual suspects, including eugenicist Paul Ehrlich, climate dictator James Lovelock, and NASA's own terror-endorsing James Hansen. It goes on and says that it's meant to inspire the UN in its upcoming 2012 Earth Summit. The friends call for a global Im implementation of population policies, i.e. population reduction or control. To effectively implement these policies, the authors propose rights be infringed upon in, in order to address what they call the population issue. They say this issue should be urgently addressed by education and empowerment of women, including in the workforce and rights, ownership and inheritance, health care of children. They're talking about death care and, that, and the elderly <laughs> and making modern contraception accessible to all. So, speak of the devil and he shall appear. NASA scientist Dr. James Hansen says no to coal-fired power plants. A world climate change expert has said that the U.K. should not build any more coal-fired power stations, saying it could be solved with nuclear power. Next up, 50 top uh, NASA astronauts, scientists, engineers signed letter claiming extremists is turning NASA into a laughing stock. They called on NASA to stop uh, including them in unproven remarks regarding climate change that are not substantiated. Next up, homeowners to foot the, foot the bill for green improvements. Millions of homeowners will be forced to pay hundreds of pounds more to build conservatories or replace broken boilers because a green tax is to be introduced from October. So these new government regula regulations will prevent people from making any home improvements unless they start paying for these green, uh, basically, measures. The real cost of the Australian carbon tax? Well, green plan means 10% hike in bills, so... That's the whole point of this climate change is to basically to starve you to death. 
that are freezing to death. It's like these smart meters that are known to set on fire. The cost, the cost of the scheme may be underestimated and costs for consumers could rise. Well, they will. And as the EPA approved GMO insecticide is responsible for killing off the bees, they don't care. Because what? Genetically modified cows could fart less. And even light pollution is contributing to 10% of carbon emissions. This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.